A desperate plea from Cape May County tonight. Officials say they love visitors, but not during the COVID-19 pandemic. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan explains why. While summer at the Jersey Shore may seem like a distant dream as we manage the new challenges of fighting the coronavirus, shore officials say don't try to make your escape anytime soon. We want to emphasize this this is not vacation time here because their children are out of school. This week, the Cape May County Board of Freeholders issued a plea for people to not visit the shore in the coming weeks. Even though it may sound harsh, they don't want second homeowners or other out-of-towners to burden their grocery stores or medical facilities. And right now, this time of the year, we don't have the resources to deal with this. Not long after issuing the plea for no visitors this week, officials announced the first confirmed case of COVID-19 in Cape May County on Wednesday. A 30-year-old man from New York City who tested positive at a local health care facility. We just had a report that we're investigating right now that we had an individual come from New York that was quarantined in New York and came to Cape May County and now has exposed people in Cape May County that we're investigating. While it may seem counterintuitive for a region whose economy is almost completely based on tourism to tell people to stay away, Cape May County officials say they just don't have the infrastructure to handle more sick people than their own year-round residents. I've got a population here that is 25%, 65 years old and above and I have an obligation to to protect them. Shore officials are hoping that suppressed demand for beach time will lead to a very successful summer. I'm Cleve Bryan, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.